by deleting yc from 6 from the 6 from 6 we have we have the function we have the function by deleting yc from 6 we have the function yq with unknown coefficients determine the unknown coefficients determine that unknown coefficients then we get this yq is equal to yp that is this yq is what is the particular integral or we can write yp is equal to yq that is particular integral is yq because we have every yq is equal to rx every yq is equal to rx that is this yq is the solution of this equation number one and and it is this yq is what one by fd rx that is yq is what is particular integral but what when after determining the unknown coefficients and hence last sentence is what hence the general solution of equation one is what y is equal to yc plus yp so this is the method of undetermined coefficients the first example of this method solve the differential equation d cube plus 3d plus 2y is equal to 12x square by using the method of undetermined coefficients. method of undetermined coefficients. So we can also solve this equation by using the rule qx is equal to x raised to m. But here we have to solve this example by using method of undetermined coefficients. So the given differential equation is d cube plus 3d plus 2y is equal to 12x square. Non-homogeneous differential equation with constant coefficients. And the first part is as it is that it finds complementary function the associated homogeneous differential equation is d cube plus 3d plus 2y is equal to 0 associated homogeneous differential equation then the auxiliary equation is is c of d y is equal to 0 m cube uh, not q here is square that square d square d square d square so m square plus 3m plus 2 is equal to 0 so what are the roots factors m plus 2 m plus 1 is equal to 0 therefore m is what minus 1 and minus 2 or minus 2 and minus 1 and therefore the complementary function of 1 is yc is equal to c1 e raised to minus x plus c2 e raised to minus 2x then the term 12x square corresponds to roots m is equal to 0 0 0 this term and therefore the corresponding differential equation that is the differential equation the differential equation therefore the differential equation whose solution is 12x square is what d minus 0 into d minus 0 into d minus 0 
y is equal to 0 whose solution is this that is 12 x square is the solution of this differential equation that is d cube y is equal to 0 this is equation number 3 this is equation number 4 by considering together the values of these are m dash this is these are m corresponding uh, by considering the together the values of m and m dash the corresponding homogeneous differential equation is what is d cube that is gd this is gd and this is fd d square plus 3d plus 2y is equal to 0 equation number 5 this is what gd into fd y is equal to 0 d cube and this that is if you find the auxiliary equation of this equation and if you find all the roots then we have this d cube corresponds to 0 0 0 and this this uh, term corresponds to roots minus 1 and minus 2 and its solution is that is solution of u is what y is equal to c1 e raise to minus x plus c2 e raise to minus 2x these are the terms corresponds to the roots of this part d cube plus 3d plus 2 what are the roots minus 1 minus 2 and what is the complementary part this is the complementary part so write this part at first this part as it is complementary function and then the terms corresponds to this d cube is equal to 0 and what are that c3 that is the terms corresponds to 0 0 0 c3 plus c4 x plus c5 x square e raise to 0 x e raise to 0 x is 1 so this is the solution of what the 6 is the solution of 5 and from 1 uh, from 3 equation 3 we have from this equation y is equal to y is p is equal to that is particular integral so how we can obtain particular integral from 6 by deleting this complementary function part the remaining part is what c3 plus c4 x plus c5 x square and this is what this is the particular solution of the given differential equation this is what this is particular integral of one with proper choice of c1 c2 c3 constants uh, not c1 c2 c3 c3 c4 c5 so we can find the values of c3 c4 c5 so as yp is particular solution of equation 1 we have the equation 1 is satisfied by yp so what is the equation 1 d cube plus 3d plus 2 yp is equal to 12 x square we have this equation suppose number 7 now d square not d cube we, we find d square yp what is d square d of first right yp what is yp yp is c3 plus c4 x plus c5 x square and then what is d yp c3 derivative of c3 0 c4 plus 2 c5 x then d square yp is what 
derivative of this c4 is 0 to c5 and so equation 7 becomes d square yp plus 3 dyp plus 2 yp is equal to 12 x square so substitute d square yp is 2 c5 plus 3 dyp is what c4 plus 2 c5 x plus 2 yp is c3 plus c4 x plus c5 x square is equal to 12 x square so we have in bracket 2 c5 constant terms 3 c4 plus 2 c3 constant terms plus terms of x 6 c5 plus 2 c4 into x and the terms of x square is 2 c5 x square only one terms 12 x square that is this 12 x square is what this is this 12 x square is actually 0 plus 0 x plus 12 x square this is the problem so compare the LHS and RHS so this we have comparing we get 2c5 plus 3c4 plus 2c3 is equal to 0 that is in LHS the constant term is this and the in RHS 12x square means constant term is 0 the coefficient of x in RHS is 0 in LHS is what 6c5 plus 2c4 is equal to 0 and the coefficient of x square in LHS is 2c5 in RHS is 12 so this implies c5 is 6 substitute this c5 is 6 so we have 2 c4 is equal to the 6 into 6 is 36 minus 36 therefore c4 is what minus 18 and then c5 equation 1 implies 2 c5 plus 3 c5 is what 6 2 into 6 plus 3 c4 c4 is minus 18 plus 2 c3 is equal to 0 so we have this is 12 minus this term so we have this is equal to 42 and so c3 is what is 21 and therefore the particular integral of 1 is y is equal to yp is equal to substitute this c1 c2 c3 c4 in this equation c3 is what 21 plus c4 is minus 18 so minus 18 x and c5 is what is 6 x square so this is the particular integral and therefore the general solution of equation 1 is y is equal to yc plus yp that is c1 e raised to minus x c2 e raised to minus 2x plus 21 minus 18x plus 6x square so this is the final answer of the problem by using method of undetermined coefficients next example solve the differential equation d square plus d minus 2y is equal to 2x minus 40 cos 2x so write first the associated homogeneous differential equation this is one the associated homogeneous differential equation is this the auxiliary equation is m square plus m minus 2 is equal to 0 so roots are m plus 2 m minus 1 is equal to 0 so m is minus 2 minus 1 uh, plus 1 and therefore the complementary function of 1 is yc is equal to c1 e raised to minus 2x plus c2 e raised to x then in RHS there are two terms 2x 2x and minus 40 cos 2x so first the term 
टू एक्स करस्पॉन्ड्स टू करस्पॉन्ड्स टू रूट जीरो जीरो एंड द टर्म माइनस फोर्टी कॉस टू एक्स करस्पॉन्ड्स टू रूट प्लस माइनस टू आई एंड देर फोर यम इज वॉट जीरो जीरो वैल्यूज ऑफ यम आर प्लस माइनस टू आई इज प्लस टू आई माइनस टू आई एंड देर फोर दिस टू एक्स माइनस फोर्टी कॉस टू एक्स इज द पर्टिक्युलर सोल्यूशन ऑफ द होमोजीनियस डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन d माइनस जीरो डी माइनस जीरो करस्पॉन्ड्स टू दिस टू डी माइनस टू आई दैट इज प्लस टू आई डी माइनस प्लस टू आई एंड डी माइनस माइनस टू आई मीन्स डी प्लस टू आई वाई इज इक्वल टू जीरो दैट इज सिंप्लीफाई वी हैव डी स्क्वेर एंड दिस इज वॉट डी स्क्वेर माइनस फोर आई स्क्वेर माइनस फोर आई स्क्वेर a minus b into a plus b is a square minus b square that is d square d square mi minus i square is minus 1 so d square plus 4 y is equal to 0 so this is what this is the homogeneous differential equation whose particular solution is 2x minus 40 cos 2x then by considering values of m and m dash together the homogeneous differential equation corresponding homogeneous differential equation is what d square d square plus 4 d square plus d minus 2y is equal to 0 then its solution is what y is equal to c1 e raised to minus 2x c2 e raised to x plus c3 plus c4 x plus c5 cos 2 x plus c6 sin 2 x so these terms corresponds to these two minus 2 and 1 roots minus 2 and 1 these two terms first two terms and the remaining terms are corresponds to the roots जीरो जीरो प्लस माइनस टू आई जीरो जीरो करस्पॉन्ड्स टू दिस एंड प्लस टू आई एंड माइनस टू आई करस्पॉन्ड्स टू दिस एंड सो जीरो करस्पॉन्ड्स टू दिस एंड दिस एंड देर फोर बाय डिलीटिंग वाई सी फ्रॉम इक्वेशन थ्री व्हाट वी हैव वी हैव y p is equal to by deleting complementary function we have this c5 cos 2x plus c6 sin 2x so this is what is the particular integral this is particular integral 